Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're taking a look at natural climate changes. Now, most of the time when we talk about climate change, we're thinking about climate change caused by humans and those negative impacts that it has. But climate also changes naturally due to a number of different factors. So if you take a look at this diagram here, you can see that the temperature on Earth has changed uh, from, you know, positive 4 degrees to about negative 8 degrees compared to where it is right now. Over about 400,000 years it's gone through these cyclical patterns. Now obviously much of this has happened due to natural changes, not just human caused changes. So let's take a look at our learning goals. You should be able to describe the natural long-term changes in climate and there are a few factors that cause this. So, first of all, what or what's the overall cause of these changes? Well, it's caused by changes in the Earth's energy balance. So we talked about the amount of energy coming in and the amount of energy leaving the Earth, and they must be equal. If more energy comes in, the Earth will heat up. If more energy goes out, then the Earth will cool down. And these changes, they can be long-term over hundreds or thousands of years, or they can be short-terms over decades. And we're going to focus on those long-term changes today. So the first one is solar radiation. The amount of energy the Earth receives is not constant. So if there's more energy coming in towards the Earth, then the Earth is going to become hotter. If there's less energy, then the Earth will become cooler. The next factor is continental drift. So the Earth used to have one big supercontinent, not the ones that we're used to now. And as those continents separated and moved apart, then you got changes in the ocean and the wind patterns. So when we have our ocean currents that move around the continents, if there's just one big continent, then they're going to move in a certain pattern. If there are many continents, then they need to move in different patterns around them. Similarly, wind patterns change as we have mountains in different areas and so on. Now also, the, the change in land versus water in certain areas of the globe will cause changes in the earth temperature because water absorbs heat, uh, more heat than land and so it'll warm up more slowly and cool down more quickly. And we saw that when we talked about local climate. The next factor has to do with several different aspects of the Earth's orbit. So the first one is the eccentricity, and that's the shape of the Earth's orbit. So if it's closer to a circle or closer to an oval, that's the eccentricity. And when it's more of an oval shape, then the Earth gets further from the sun and it'll be cooler. The next one is obliquity, and that has to do with the Earth's tilt. So we know that the Earth is tilted on an angle approximately 23 and a half degrees right now, but sometimes it becomes more or less tilted. Um, when it's more tilted, then you end up with bigger differences in the seasons. And bigger differences means that maybe in the winter time it'll be a lot cooler, and that can cause glaciation. And then finally, precession. Um, and this has to do with what we call the Earth's wobble. So if you imagine a top, if you spin a top and then you look down from above, you'll notice that as it sort of slows down from spinning, it starts to wobble around in a circle. And so the very top of the top will almost paint a circle around like this if you're looking from above. And the Earth does that as well. So changes. Um, so as the Earth spins, the direction of the tilt changes, and changes in temperature in the northern hemisphere where there's a lot of land mass. So if the Earth has more land mass above the equator, which it does, then as that um, Earth wobbles as it goes around, that's going to cause changes uh, overall on Earth. So let's take another look at our learning goals. Can you describe the natural long-term changes in climate? If you can, fantastic. If not, please re-watch this video, and if you have questions, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.